Hey everybody, Skyler here, and in this video I quickly wanted to talk about a misconception that's been floating around, and this is uh, the sentence or the conversation I normally hear. And uh, it's very common, so don't feel bad if you, if you think this way or have thought this, but I hear a lot of times like, hey, uh, what if Ethereum could be as big as Bitcoin? It seems like Ethereum is a pretty favored coin. Uh, you know, if Ethereum, it's only $2,000. It seems like it has a lot more potential room to grow, right? What about Polkadot? I've been hearing that Polkadot is a competitor to Ethereum, which means if Ethereum is a competitor to Bitcoin, then what if this $40, it's, it ends up being $57,000, right? I've also heard Cardano is a, 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 um, a competitor to Ethereum, right? So what if this $1 went to 57,000? Why would I buy a Bitcoin or Ethereum if I, this is a much better opportunity, right and that's fine to think that way i mean don't i mean not it's not fine i guess we need to rethink the way we think things um because the price is is completely irrelevant when it comes to crypto all right in order for 40 dollars to get to fifty-seven thousand dollars, it's it is is this coin would be way bigger than bitcoin would ever be or not ever but it would be right now and i'll show you what i mean in a, in a minute but it's not about the coin price it's about the current total market cap of the company now here is where a misconception also comes in people think that they need to buy an entire bitcoin right gene simmons recently posted that he uh liked cardano because it's easier to buy cardano than it would be bitcoin not knowing that bitcoin has a lower denomination of a, of a called a satoshi you know it's like uh you know like a hundred dollar bill uh to a penny right it's like you can't say like well not everyone get a hundred dollar bill it's like, dude, you can get spare change and you still have that, you know, that dollar amount in fiat, you know, it's different anyways. Um, but the, the price is completely irrelevant, right? You can put $10 in Ethereum, you can put $5 into Bitcoin, you can put, you know, um, you can put 10 cents into Bitcoin, right? Um, that's the point of these cryptocurrencies, right? You're, you can be able to hold a very, very, very small minuscule amount and be able to transfer and trade that small amount as well. But let me share with you what really matters, and that's right here, the market cap. This is what really matters. So when people say, what if Ethereum got as big as Bitcoin, right? 2000, and this is gonna be over, you know, 30X. Well, if it went to a 30X, that means it would hit a two, a, you know, $230 billion market cap times 30, right? So essentially what you're saying is, um, that it that if Ethereum uh, hit the same price as Bitcoin, Ethereum would be at Bitcoin's current price. Ethereum would be almost seven times bigger than Bitcoin currently, because you need to always look at the market cap. This is what shows the worth of the company. Now, why is the coin price different? That is because the circulating supply. So let's go into Bitcoin for an, for example. So, Bitcoin's price is $57,060. The market cap is a little over a trillion. The circulating supply is uh, 18,634,093. So if I were to take the current market cap, which is that trillion dollars, and I were to divide it by the circulating supply, then I would get the current price of Bitcoin, $57,060 and uh, the price is a little bit skewed at the pennies, but uh, you get the picture, right? And that's why different exchanges, the price fluctuates and everything like that, because the circulating supply is always constantly changing. And um, But you get the picture. That's how you get the price. So this is what you need to look at. Market cap every single time. Now, if... Now, a big conversation that people are having right now is what if Polkadot, you know, Polkadot is a competitor to Ethereum, and I think they are when it comes to market cap for sure. Um, and they are currently at a $40 billion market cap. So if Polkadot got to be as big as Ethereum's current price, we would have to take the current price of uh, Ethereum and divide it by the current price of polka dot and that equals 5.8 so essentially if polka dot got to be as big as ethereum then we would have to take 5.8 and times it by the current price times 40 dollars and 69 cents so if polka dot got to be as big as ethereum at its current price it would be a 236 dollar coin 
So when you were looking at a, a coin's price, for example, Cardano, it would be pretty much the same thing. Uh, Polkadot is around $39 billion market cap. Cardano is $36 billion. So uh, you would have to take that dollar, 1.14, and times it by 5.8. So if Cardano got to be at as big as Ethereum at its current price, um, then it would be a $6.61 coin. So when you are doing your math of potential gains, that's what you have to look out for. Because you can look at projects like Uniswap, 9 billion. Well, it's a decentralized exchange and it's competing with a centralized exchange of Binance coin at 273 but the market cap is, is 42. So Uniswap could do a 4X to be as big as Binance coin. So when you're, when you're thinking about what money am I gonna put into what project, how much money, uh, that's how you need to do your math of what project do I like? How big do I think it could grow? Um, and, uh, and yeah, um, so I guess that's it. Um, Super appreciate you watching the video. If you learned anything or liked anything, uh, hit that like button. And if you didn't, uh, you should probably hit that like button anyway. It's good luck or something I hear. I guess we'll see you in the next video. Live streams every single Sunday. If you have any questions and uh, yeah, have a good one. Bye. <laughs>